Welcome to Mighty Married Moms. Join us at our kitchen table twice a week as the Mighty Married Moms, Debbie, Linda, Wendy, invite spectacular guests to weigh in on staying sexy, vibrant, and healthy, building marriages with soul-satisfying connection, raising happy, healthy, successful kids. Conversations with Mighty Married Moms will bring you closer to the life you really want. Episode 82. Today's show is brought to you by Deborah C. Owen, Family and Life Coach at YouCanRaiseGreatKids.com. If you are tired of worrying about the choices your kid is making or tired of the stress of constantly arguing with your kids or them arguing with each other, then don't wait until you are truly desperate. Get the help you and your family need and deserve today. Connect with your kids with calm compassion. Call Deborah Owen at 978-835-4354. Hi everyone, welcome back to Mighty Married Moms. We are going to tell you about this great conversation that we just had with Stephanie O'Day from stephanieoday.com. And let me spell that for you. It's S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E-O-D-E-A.com. Stephanie O'Day. And um, we talked to her about um, crock pot cookery and getting organized as a mom and how actually those two really go together. Right. Yes, they do. Absolutely. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sure that uh, all moms out there can agree that probably one of the toughest things about being a mom is organizing all of those meals. Oh my gosh. Making sure that your kids are eating healthy and it's really a lot of work. It's Mm -hmm. a lot of work to include, you know, the vegetable and all the stuff that they're supposed to be eating. Get them to eat it. Um, in, in, amidst your busy, busy life and all the things that they have to do, yeah, mm-hmm. you have to take them to and, and and just and and the the evening sort of you know when kids are younger and even when they're older, they just get more stressed out at the end of the day, right? They have that time and it's always around dinner time that yes. it's kind of we, we call, call it the witching hour, yeah, the witching you know. Right. Um, and it's very hard to focus and make a good meal during that time. Right. I mean, definitely, right. I have found that myself as a mom. Right. I can't tell you how many times I. I walk into the kitchen at 5.30 and I say, what do we have in the freezer? What can I throw together now? Exactly. I do that day after day after day. Right, right. And uh, it sure would be nice to have something To open up a a pot that's already steamy and warm and lovely. I've done it sometimes. I've done it sometimes. But it does take preparation. Right. You know, planning ahead, making sure you've got the stuff in the house. Right. Cook, you know, chopping it up in the morning. And then I have had the problem where I've let it cook too long and it doesn't taste all that good. Right. So um, She had some great remedies for that. She's got some great remedies for that. One of which is to get the the new crock pots they are programmable. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, uh, one of the things that, you know, as we're talking about this, I'm thinking, you know, when did we turn into a, you know, recipe crock pot you know, venue, but it's really about trying to create a peaceful home environment where the most important thing can take place, which is connection with the people that you live with. Absolutely. And so this just really, I really appreciated how you just take the whole rush, 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 and trying to do 17 things at once between that four to seven witching hour Mm -hmm. out of the mix and get it going. Like she said, when she's highly caffeinated, she lifted up her coffee cup. When I'm highly caffeinated, (laughs) I'm, you know, chopping my vegetables, yeah, in the morning Mm -hmm. and kind of getting that straightened out and putting it in this programmable crock pot that maybe takes, she might know that she's going to be out of the house or very distracted and busy for 12 hours, but she sets it so that it's six hours and six hours on low warm, like what she's like a buffet table. Yeah. Buffet. Yeah. So that, so that it's like just so smart and it's a, just a way of saying what's the most, what's first things first and this is a great tool mm-hmm. to help us kind of get to that life that we really want to have which is what we're all about Absolutely. here. Absolutely. What we're all about. So I really appreciate everything that she had to say. She was, she was, she's, she's gone around the block and she's gotten a couple of books, right? Yeah. Several cook, uh, cooking books. Yep. Based on her, I love this, she spent a year. <laughs> yeah. A year of working with crock, the crock pot every single day. And so it was a leap year. So she said she had 366 days to do this. And she right. blogged about it as she went. And um, ended up, as she said, with a little over 300 recipes that she thought were good. So, yeah. But good for her for experimenting. What I heard Absolutely. her say was 300 recipes that she wrote. Like she, she, yeah. she might yeah. have done 65 that were kind of the ones that are the all out there on Pinterest or where are you going to find mm-hmm. your crock pot recipes. That's what I, anyway, but she said she came up with some really good recipes herself that yep. she was pretty, you know, so she put them in the book and mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it should be good to, to, to go look up some it's of these recipes. Resource. And she's got these meal plans on her website for $2.50, $2.49 yeah. for five full days of um, a meal plan. 
Yeah. yeah. And a meal plan can make all the difference yeah. in the world. I know when I'm really good <laughs> and I create a on meal plan and I prepare on the weekend for the week, our family eats a lot differently. And I don't do that. I'm looking, you know, like you said, I'm looking in the freezer or I'm going, oh, you know, here's a salad, lettuce. Yes. Or, you know, with a little Enjoy. dressing. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like not very exciting and not very good. I'll, you know. Find your own protein. Right. <laughs> well, I'm at the salad in addition to, oh, you know, right. something else. But because I like a salad to be a little bit more than just lettuce, you know, yeah. it's just a little bit nicer. Yeah. And my kids certainly do too. So, so anyway, to, but to get out of that mode and, and the most stressful time. I find in the day with the family is really that dinner time uh, time because it's uh, you're setting the kids off with you're preparing lunches or whatever in the morning but the dinner thing is really hard if you're not prepared in advance there's no yeah. doubt about it so any way to take that stress out and she also um, brought up a, a great uh, time-saving technique as well which I've been reading a lot about is freezer meals you know so oh, preparing yeah. on the weekend if you don't have time in the morning um, as we were talking about um, with Stephanie if you don't have time in the morning, you have to get up to work early, get your kids to school early, and you just don't have time to be chopping vegetables because it does take time to do that. It does. Um, you know, do it on the weekend and uh, a lot for each day and put them in a freezer bag. Throw your onions, your carrots, your meat, you know, whatever you're going to put in your crock pot in a freezer bag, put it in the freezer. So each day, if that's the way it's going to make it work for you, then in the morning you just pull that out of the freezer or, you know, put it in the refrigerator at night, Overnight. pull it out of the refrigerator, stick it in the crock pot, and, and you're good to go. You don't have to do all the chopping each morning. So um, I thought that was a, a, a great tip, and I've been reading a lot about it. And I, mm -hmm. I read um, a blog where they were talking about sharing with other families, too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, making, you know, I've heard finding, about that, too. Yeah, yeah, so finding other families. So if I'm cooking a meal and I make it for three families, enough for three families, I'm only cooking once, and it doesn't really take that much to cook for three families, any more effort than it takes to cook for my own. Um, and I'm sharing it with them, but then they're cooking meals um, and for sharing three. it with me. So I don't even have to cook every day of the week. I don't have to plan a meal for right. every day of the week. And I think that's a really brilliant idea. I know when I do my cleanses, I always talk to people about having a cleanse buddy yeah, so that when you're preparing those foods because it does take a lot of yep. time to I had do the that. best time doing that with my friend April when we did your cleanse yeah. we just got together at her house and we were chopping and talking and it was great yeah. we enjoyed it so yeah, yeah I remember that yep. yeah and you'll get a, a bigger variety that way too right because mm -hmm. we are we do tend to be creatures of habit with food we get we, yeah. we like what we like we make what we make and um, you know we tend to do the same thing all the time and uh, so if you're sharing with somebody else they have their things that they, they do all the time maybe but it's different from your thing so to share those is um it's just a great it's a great great thing yeah so that's a great time saving uh tip yeah yep 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 and just i think the whole thing of um having that resource of her out there yes. refreshing all those um or reinforcing and refreshing all that on her blog um uh, yeah she, she she was just a really compelling figure and very inspiring to me i was mm -hmm. like and I don't even have a family that I need to cook for, but just me. Not and, right now. Not, not right now, but me and my husband. And I, even then, you know, I, I was cooking something the other day. I said, look at me, I'm cooking, as opposed to pulling out something or going to <laughs> take out or whatever because it's just easier. But I really enjoy cooking, and, and I, if I could do it, like I say, on the weekends and plan ahead, I think it would just be so much smoother, so much smoother. Mm -hmm. so, and absolutely. The, the whole purpose of the meal planning that Stephanie was talking about is um, all about and Wendy mentioned, brought it up already, is having enough time to connect with your family. Right. And it is just so important. I mean, that's something I talk to my clients about all the time is how do you connect with your kids? How do you connect with your spouse, your um, parenting partner? And making time for it and, and by relieving the stress of coming up with a meal in the middle of homework and, and soccer and hockey and all this other stuff, by relieving that stress, you are able to be more present right now with your kids when they need you. And you're able to sit down and say, wow, that math problem's really got a, uh, it's really stumping you. What else can we try? How, how else can we try to work through that? Or, or, you know, I see you only, you only read 15 minutes and your teacher asked you to read for 25 today. How can we, you know, get around to fixing this? And you can't do that if you're, you know, slicing onions yeah, right, and yeah. watching this Sauteing and watching that. that. And, right, right. Yeah, it's just hard to be doing both. I mean, we're really good at multitasking, as, as right. Stephanie pointed out. Right. And there have been a plenty of times when I had kids at home and I would be doing 15 things at once and everything would come out just right. And I go, yes, <laughs> yeah. I am awesome at this. <laughs> yeah. And then the next day it would just totally flop. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I've burned a lot of things lately. Oh, I've burned things all the time. My kid, 
more than I don't know if to. my kids are listening to this, <laughs> but if you are, I'm sorry about all those burned grilled cheese sandwiches. Sorry. <laughs> you know, we've scraped, we've scraped oh, it yes. off, right? Maybe they won't notice if I scrape the black off. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm the sure better taste side. it right, yeah. I'm going to show you the golden part. <laughs> on top. How hard is it to make a grilled cheese sandwich? Okay, We're no. crying out loud. I've burned uh, well, so many of them. It's very easy if you're focusing just on that. But right, if yeah. you're, you're trying to do three of the things. You're standing things, over that. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, the right. sandwich. <laughs> I can smell it. Oh, that shouldn't be happening. No, no, no. no. Yeah, right. Mm. So, yeah, but anyway, that, that certainly will relieve a lot of those uh, disasters. Right. <laughs> and also help you be um, more available emotionally, psychologically, and physically for your kids by yeah. being able to plan ahead. So, I mean, yeah. And yourself, too. And yourself. There's some, like, some mental space where you're just not, you know, the, at four to seven's not the best time for any of us. <laughs> Certainly yeah. children can, you know, take a dive, but I think for any of us, there's some sort of a circadian rhythm about that time of day, so it's like, yeah. okay, let's just regroup and go into the evening time, that shift, you know. So I think that, yeah, it's, it would be great to have a little bit more space, mental space, physical space, yeah. emotional space to kind of be present from four to Absolutely. seven. Absolutely. I, yeah. I also liked what Stephanie said about how, you know, she's got the crock pot dinner already and she's got a five-year-old who's hungry at five and oh, dad's yeah. not going to be home for a couple of hours and, you know, just feed the kid. Yeah. I, there's no reason to make the kid wait. Now, the other thing you could do is put out a, um, a bowl of vegetables or a bowl of fruit, and that way at least you know they're getting, they're getting good food, they're not eating Twinkies and cookies. Um, but you can also just feed them and sit down with them while right. they're eating. Right. And that's really important. It goes back to that connection again. Yeah, she was saying, you know, you don't have to have the iconic, you know, picture perfect of everybody sitting at the table not every and night. sharing the day. Not every right. Night. No, and it might not happen. So when the five year old says, Oh, you know, I need something, at least they're she said they're participating in the same food. Like this is yeah. what all of us are gonna be eating later on and so there's something communal, if you will, about just eating what's out of the crock food. pot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was a really nice point because yeah. it, it just makes room for reality. Yeah. yeah. As opposed to I mean, always how many soccer the practices start at five o'clock and end at seven. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't know. A lot. a lot. A lot. Yeah, they do. Really? Is it and I understand it's volunteers, but it's just, it just seems like it's right at dinner time. Yeah. It's a really bad time. Yeah, and yeah. then it gets dark afterwards. So, right. I mean, I get it. I get it, too. I get but it, too. But it just is really um, hazardous to the health of the family. Right, yeah. yes. Yeah, and we don't want hazardous stuff. For I know, it must be hard to eat dinner at 4.30 or eat dinner at 7.30 if you're a 12-year-old mm -hmm. or whatever, yeah. whoever is practicing well, they soccer. Only, yeah, sure, they only get home from school at 3, 3.30, yeah. depending on how yeah. long their bus route is, and, and they have snack at that point. And then, I mean, personally, I try not to eat a whole lot during the day, so by 4.30, I'm really ready for dinner. Yeah. But that's a separate issue. I mean, if you've got kids at home, they're, yeah. um, they're ready to eat when they get home from school, for sure. And so, they, you know, if you give them something nutritious, and I'm sure Linda can tell us all about that, mm -hmm. if you give them something nutritious when they get home for a snack, they're going to be able to uh, last a little bit longer. And, but and till 7 and exercise? Seven's late. Seven's late. I just think, well, like I said, I haven't had to contend with that being a stepmom. I wasn't on point for the soccer games but that that does seem harsh mm -hmm. it is it's a tough thing it's a tough thing but I also, I also wanted to talk about you know before we before we went out of time is I think that her organizational tips yes. were really wonderful as well and and we you know mm -hmm. talked about making lists of things to do checking off what you've done it sounds so basic like satisfying you know sh I should know how to do that <laughs> I mean I've heard it before it's not like I haven't but um, but as Stephanie was saying, you know, sometimes you just want someone to tell you what to do, mm -hmm. and she created a whole planner, um, sort of giving you those those tips. Or she's creating it; she created it, right? Yeah, it's it's yeah, available it's on the website. Right? Yeah. Yeah, and um, and so it's giving you those tips, and you're able to check those off. And I've read that, you know, when you make a list and you check things off, it actually releases endorphins in your body um, because you feel like, oh, I accomplished something, and I acknowledge that I accomplished something and you're sort of celebrating it in mm -hmm. a sense by mm -hmm. checking it off and going oh I feel really good now um, so you really do it really does create Gives something actual relief. physical yeah. uh, in there and so she uh, she talked a lot about that and that's something that she helps people with as well is how to stay organized in, in every area not just you know with your cooking the cooking is a big huge thing because our whole mm -hmm. family life is really mm -hmm. surrounded around our foods that we're eating, the several meals a day, um, but but that uh, she put it into other areas of your life as well. So I think that's really key, and I've heard it from numerous successful mm -hmm. people. If you plan your day the night yep. before, check it off the next day. You're going to get way more way accomplished. more done if you know where you're going. 
you'll get there. If you don't know where you're going, you'll get there. You'll get there. <laughs> you won't get anywhere. Yeah. yeah. You'll get there. Yeah. yeah. If you don't know where you're going, you'll get there too. Yeah. 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 Which is nowhere. Yeah. Nowhere. Yeah. yeah. And, totally. and I'll even add to that a little bit, Linda, and, and just say that um, something that's been working well for me when I do it <laughs> is to Qualified. identify, you know, the top one, two, or three things that must happen tomorrow. Yeah. And do that before. Oh, and this is key too. Plan your day the night before and uh, right before you go to bed. Because what will happen is your brain will be thinking about it while you're asleep and helping you. Like sometimes I'll be thinking about a blog post I need to write or, or a person I need to contact, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to say in the email or something like that. And if that's one of my top three things that I need to get done. Your brain is working on it? Yeah, your brain works on it while you're asleep. I if like you that. plan it the night before and then first thing the next morning, um, well, I have my exercise routine and and, stu and meditation and stuff like that. But as soon as I'm ready to do my work, those are the, that's the first thing I'll do. Mm -hmm. And um, my brain has my subconscious mind has helped me uh, organize it, organize it, and figure out what I'm going to write or say or something like that. That's good tips. I like that. Really useful. Yeah, I like that so a lot. Get organized yeah. the night before. But right. that's really important. Right. Mm -hmm. It's really important. Right. And um, you know, and I do think that the cooking goes into the whole planning and organization thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bring some sanity. Bring some sanity into your where life. you can. You know, re, you know, yeah. try to wrestle with it. And she kind of put it out there. I think she did this while we were still on camera. Maybe it was afterwards. But just saying, you know, really, it is women and moms who are the domestic mm -hmm. managers. And as much as we might want to fight that, and you know, or as much as we have equalize it, equalize it or whatever, it's just kind of hardwired that there's just some sort of multitasking ability that the woman's brain has that we should optimize and, and maximize mm -hmm. and not get caught up with trying to divvy up the list and 50-50 and all that kind of stuff in that regard. Yeah, Which I find whatever, kind of... A, I whatever find, works out well for you. Yeah, yeah, spouse, to harmonize yeah. In, yeah. Your home, in your own home, you know, not to, not to get overly crazy in any direction. Of course, so. there are plenty of men who love to cook. Oh my Absolutely. goodness, thank yeah. goodness. Yeah. My husband does a great job with cooking. He's very small few meals, but they're awesome. And I'm like, thank you for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> but so. there's some men, that's their job, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. to do all the cooking in the house. Yep. So, yep. Uh, yeah, we don't do that in our house. We have yeah. to be careful because otherwise we'll end up eating kind of weird things. <laughs> uh, and, and when he grills, it, it's dead. It's very dead. Oh, it's very dead. <laughs> oh. No pink. He no doesn't pink. want anybody to get sick. I see. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So, that's great. Anyway, well, we hope you've picked up some great tips today yeah. and some uh, really useful things for you and your family so that you can connect and be intentional about being a great parent and raising great kids and being a great spouse. And um, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. So thank you for being here with us at The Mighty Married Moms. I'm Debbie Owen. I'm Wendy Williams. And Linda Ty. And we will see you next time. Please go to iTunes, give us a rating and review. We would really appreciate it. And also connect with us on our website, MightyMarriedMoms.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Mighty Married Moms. Tune in twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays to meet fascinating and inspiring guests who will help you create the life you've always wanted. You can find these episodes and special gifts just for you at MightyMarriedMoms.com as well as a link to our Facebook community where we continue the conversation around the kitchen table. Please also help share the love by leaving a review on iTunes. We'll see you next time.